we are going to be doing the Easter challenge. This is my uh, monstrosity of a Laura. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this, look at this. Oh my god. Fishing pals, it's Alternator X, and today we are going to be doing the Easter challenge. And we have three lures right here. So the first one right here is a nice bubblegum grub. This is great for swimming. I may twitch it a couple times. This tail will swim like crazy. Pink is a great color when no other color wants to work. And it's also great for pressure ponds because fish are not used to seeing that color. So this right here is a triple bladed buzz bait. This is crazy. I'm so used to using the doubles. You know, I'm not used to using the triples, and they even have a quadruple one out there. But as you can see, this is an S shad color, and I actually put a little, uh, looks like a, a tube, and it's, it's a weird looking tube, as you can see. I forgot the name of it right now. I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, as you can see, it matches this other lure perfectly. It's like this white, yellow, and blue. So yeah, this is awesome. I can't wait to use this. And finally, guys, I have a jig. Now, this jig will work really well for, uh, like, clear water. You can use, still use it in dirty water if you want to. But as you can see, there's a nice little jig skirt on there. There's this little part right here that keeps it weedless. At least mostly weedless. So it block this little thing will block the hook from catching weeds. At least most of them, like I said. And the really cool thing about this crayfish is that uh, when one claw goes like this, another claw will go like that. So I can't describe it right here, but yeah, I can't wait for that. This is going to be a lot of fun. I had never fished with a jig before. So yeah, guys, let's go to the pond. Oh, you guys, you see that right there? That is just a goose that is allowing me to be super close. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Whoa. Okay, this guy's a little spicy. I bet it's a mother like guarding her eggs, so I'm not gonna deal with that. Okay guys, as you can see, I have a 360 camera on me, so here's the perspective of it right now. You can kind of see anywhere, even if I'm not really trying to look somewhere. So, hey, we'll see how this works. One day I'm gonna have a shoulder strap, so it's not gonna look so weird. As you can see, it does weird things to my hair, so yeah, let's go fish. All right guys, so first we're gonna be using the jig. We'll see how well it works. This is a nice little crawfish. I don't know if there's any crayfish in here or not, but hey, it doesn't hurt to try. Hey, this goose behind me is crazy. Here, I'm gonna be casting over here now. Um, yeah, this thing can cast super far, and plus it's a little chilly out here, shockingly, so they should be out in the deep. I love this action camera. I mean, it's really helping me out. I don't know. Oh, oh, you guys see that right in front of me? Oh my God. Hey, there's crazy things going on here, so. Let me just pause it. Pop it. Oh my God, guys, look at this. Geese harassing me to death. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God. Geese, I don't care about your eggs. I don't care. Man, guys, these geese right here are just really pissed off. Okay, there is a nest, and I saw like three eggs in there. They're hissing. They're they're all grumpy. So here, let me fish over here. Okay, guys, now this is probably one of the stupidest things I've done, but I'm going to be using a buzz bait in this cold weather. I know, I know. Not, I know it's not the best thing, especially because all the fish are going to want to be snuggled down. But hey, you know, this lures part of the challenge, and it's sunny right now, at least the best it is, it's gonna get even colder, so I might as well go ahead and use this. All right, guys, I see something bubbling right behind me, but uh, I hope these geese don't get pissed again. Yeah, right now, I'm just not seeing anything. But, there could always be a fish. Because I fished here a couple days ago, like here's the fish that I caught here. Yeah, yeah, so I caught this fish here, right at this spot, and uh, yeah, and this was just a couple days ago. Of course, it was a lot warmer, but I still caught a lot more fish there. Well, this is where the camera decided to go. I know, I'm on a loose gimbal, so that means I cannot control where my camera's gonna be. Look at this, these geese are fighting. I'm so sorry it's vertical, but oh my god. Oh my god, look at this, look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, look, 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 look. Oh, guys, this is crazy. Okay, here's what happened. So, there's a mother and a father goose right here, obviously, and they're protecting eggs. Uh, this is the mother here. She's protecting her eggs and um, there's these two geese that decided to fly in and then that's whenever uh, I guess the male goose decided to fight the other two off. You know how animals are. Oh, they're out of there. They're out of there. There they go. Here's the a pink rub right here. This should work really well. I'm going to put some scent on it. This Okay guys, so this is going to be the last lore before the weird lore I'm about to show you after this one. But yeah, this uh, this is a pink rub and this thing's like a bubblegum color and yeah, this thing should work really well because uh, even bluegill should go after this. Even though it is a bigger grub, they should still go after it. Oh, oh guys, did you see that? I saw 
I saw a couple bluegill. Okay guys, the pink grub worked. Look, look at this nice little bass. I'm so sorry I couldn't show you the, the catch, but man, he's a nice little one. I like him. He's a nice little uh, largemouth bass. Now I can check off the pink grub. That's the first time on this channel. It's been so cold, but yeah, he's a nice little bass. All right, bye buddy. Oh my god, guys. This is my uh, monstrosity of a lure. I tested it, and it's definitely top water. Oh my god, you see the little hook here? So I made this myself. I have not done this kind of thing before, so we'll see how this goes. Hey, let's go back to the pond. All right, guys, look at this. Yeah, do you guys see? I don't know if you guys heard that bloop or not. But it was like this really intense, like, uh, deep sounding bloop. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I most certainly did. I just am really glad that I showed that first bass on here because I know before it's just like I'm, you're seeing me fish, I'm not catching anything. Well, it's called location, location, location. Location is the most important thing in fishing. Even when it comes to bait, what rods you're using, what baits, you name it. No matter what it is, location is the most important thing. Second thing, where are they within that location? And that's why the deeper sonar, I'm going to love using that thing. I haven't used it yet, but I cannot wait to use that whenever I'm wanting to catch big blues, pike, you name it. I mean, we're just getting started here. I mean, I know right now we're going after more bluegill and bass, of course. You know, more common species, which are, they're awesome to catch. They're a lot of fun to fish for. But I'm just saying, for me personally, I love pike and blue cats. I also love gar, sturgeon, you name it. I, and that's just for freshwater, saltwater. Oh man, I, I that would take too long for me to mention all the fish I love for that. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please consider to subscribe to the channel, cat. And hey, share this video because why not? Hey. What up, fishing pal? Uh, fishing pals? I was gonna say that. What up, fishing pals? It's Alternator X, and today we are gonna get straight to the point. We are going to be, okay, shoot. Ah, this got caught in the thing. No. Well, anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. God bless all you, and see you guys next time. Later.